What's good, people? Today we're back. Oh, you live now. Yesterday, yesterday was a legendary day. You know, I told the team we need to get 2,000 likes on this undefeated Rhyperior video, and I mean it was a fantastic video. And you guys, you guys be showing me love. You guys really be showing me love since I come back to YouTube. I've been posting heavily, so I just want to say hey, thanks a lot. I'm back here today with another fun team. I got this from a longtime viewer of mine named Toga Khan. If you guys want to pass me teams. Pass them to me on my smoke on wall. Uh, so yeah, it's just my smoke on profile. Post your team there. Only OU teams or Ubers. And the team has to be good. Don't pass no trash. Don't give me a team with like, with like, I don't know, Growlithe or like some some trash like that. All right, don't give me that. So I got this team from Toga Conscious to him. This team looks very fun. It had Entei. Now, believe it or not, I actually wanted to use Entei for the last few days i uh i played a guy on the ladder he had a heavy duty boots ente and it was pretty decent um so i was like you know what that looks like something i want to use so my boy took a contest in this team it looked very very fun it's just super super offensive um sun is something that i really like using it's really fun it's not like the best play style in fact i think people probably sleep on this one the most but um i don't know it's still good i mean all types of weather are pretty decent to be honest but like i can see why people like hail or uh sand or whatever more rain like this guy's team for example would have got six sewed by like uh arc dissolve but let's get right into this let me see if uh the sacred fire and taking put in work i mean honestly it looks like he's gonna put in work doesn't it doesn't look good for him i don't know i like his odds i'm gonna off a core of a night as he leads off with espion which is cool for me i'm just gonna brave but he doesn't have a resist anyway as i crit him there which is awesome uh that's like th that's like an awesome crit because i can just defog here and then, uh, oh, wait, it, it, it magic bounces back. I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm really not, I'm really not talented. So you turn out of there and get out of there. I get out of there pretty, uh, pretty good though. So this is interesting. Um, cause I'm not sure exactly who to go to. I kind of want to go to my Blissef, but then he's just going to bring in Crawdont. That's not really a great situation. Nothing really protects me from the Crawdont coming in and just like, going crazy you know nothing really protects me from that uh that possibility i could go into torquil honestly because torquil at least uh you know baits in the crowd but doesn't let crowd go for water moves not that that really matters i guess i just don't want that shit aqua jetting is my uh is my point here all right goes into this um i'm just gonna toxic here yep as he does that uh gonna go for lava plume here let's see what he does if he has psychic or giga drain or whatever the fuck i don't even think he can kill my uh my shit if we're being honest he goes for that he gets a boost that shit does a lot i'm not gonna lie i think i should i think i should go swampert i think i need to keep the sun i mean i should probably sack uh i should probably be sacking corvy all things considered but whatever just live this. Oh, it has drain too. Well, I fucked up. I really fucked up, huh? All right, we're gonna see here what happens. I feel like I fucked this up pretty bad. Uh, I'm gonna sack Torco here on Fire Dance again, just so I can bring in the boss and E speed here. Okay, so Sun is like done, which is kind of bad. However, I have faith in our guys to uh, to get through this mess. I have faith in our guys to get through this mess. I really do. I, I do, I do, I do. Because, like, while the Dragonite does look like he's in control here, understand that I'm in control here, not Dragonite. We're going we're gonna to get through this. We're going to get through this correctly. So, he could go to Crawdon if he wants to. I, I guess he's, like, really just afraid of the possibility of me not being banded. But I am banded, and it's time for me to die. It's time. It's time for me to get punished. It's time for me to get punished for these plays versus Valk. But, honestly... He had Giga Drain, so I don't know what I was supposed to do. I just go to Blissef here on DD. I just trick the shit. Whatever. Um, he Earthquakes sec himself. Okay. I just U-turn out here. Um, Sacking Blissef is annoying, but it's not that big of a deal. I can probably win with my uh, Venusaur anyway. Let's see. Okay, so I'm just gonna Brave Bird then, if this is the place he wants to do. Um, as he goes into Whimsicott, finally. 
probably gonna go for like uh, uh I don't want him to memento so I have to switch here into Venusaur as he stun spores yup cool I can just growth here on his memento yup crazy play I mean growth doesn't ch growth is only because maybe Crawdon lived if I was minus two but at minus one, I think that guy still dies. Which is why that growth is probably the greatest play in Pokemon his, his, his history. Probably the greatest play in Pokemon his history. Obviously, Mans is going to go for the Ice Punch there. So we're bringing in Big Entei. Let's not get it twisted. It's pretty, it's pretty clear. It's pretty clear. It's pretty clear that I see the truth. I see the, I see the ops. I see the, I see the truth. I see the truth. I always see the truth. Come on. Go Corv here. Tries to freeze me. It don't work out. Would he double here? Like the truth? I don't think he has it in him. Maybe I go Venusaur here. Like actually. No, I don't. I go Corv. Do I? Let me think about this. Do I Sacred Fire? I think I Sacred Fire. Pretty sure I just Sacred Fire. Yeah. He froze me again, but I Sacred Fired myself out. I only lose if I miss. Uh, I only lose if I miss. That's the only way I can lose. If I miss Sacred Fire against Cloyster, then I lose. Otherwise, I win. So, that's really how this is, uh... That's really how this is geared right now. Um... Yeah, so I, hit, I win if I hit, sac if hit Sacred Fire against Cloyster. If he goes into... The 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 Crawdon, he just automatically loses to Giga Drain. Uh, provided he's not sashed on, uh... Do I need this? I'm just gonna Sacred Fire. Like, his only way to win is, like, some double type shit. Like, unless it's Sash Cloyster, which I don't think it is. Yeah, okay, so he tried to get, like, a double on my Corviknight, but that doesn't make sense. Yeah, this doesn't make sense from the position we're in um, at all. And now I just win with Giga Drain for sure. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense uh, for me to do anything like that. But hey, we will say that Entei put in a crazy amount of work. He sacred fired through two water types, which is pretty clutch. I, I am going to say that is pretty clutch. So on to the next one. Entei, Entei putting in a pretty, pretty good win. You know, what started off pretty dangerous ended off pretty, pretty well. So we're able to clear through him. We're into the 1900s. Bam, there's the title. Entei bust through the 1900 with incredible choice band Sun Team. It's crazy, but it's true. Y'all could never, y'all can, y'all can never understand, you know. The power of Entei. You know, I actually have a Raikou team as well, which I uh, have not really used. I need, a, I need to use that more. I mean, I used it on the ladder, but I've not used it in video, which is something that I need to change because that's a cool mod. But yes, this is the team, guys. Go like this video right now. If that Entei put in some work, and it did, I got to give a turn, a big shout out to Corviknight for the turn one crit, exposing the, the screens, even though then Volcarona went on a kill streak versus me. But Entei killed Volk, then tricked Dragonite, uh... It killed Dragonite, then it killed the two water types too. Damn, that shit is a beast. I mean, it basically killed them. Um, okay, so we got this guy. This team is pretty bulky. It's definitely, it's definitely threatening. Entei looks pretty good. Um, if I can stomping tantrum the uh, the uh, Pex, because I, I got to keep the Sacred Fire PP uh, on deck if I can. He leads off with this. I guess we can just trade um, Toxic for knockoff. I just Stealth Rock up as he goes into Corv. I'm going to go into Entei here and just Stomping Tantrum. Actually, I'm going to Sacred Fire first. I'd like to get the burn. I think that's a better play for sure. As he goes into Blissey here, as I flipped, as I Stealth Rock first, then I flip turn this time. Um, go into Blissef and I Stomping Tantrum this time. Into this, yup. Go into Blissef. This is so spadef, it's ridiculous. I can't believe that only did that much. That's really pathetic. I got to go Corv here on Earthquake, yup. I can Brave Bird here, even though that shit does nothing. And then U-turn this time, hoping he goes back into his Corviknight. But, damn, that really did nothing. It's going to be really hard for me to win with uh, Blissef. i got to be really smart about this. Uh, go into this, and just Toxic, hoping that he goes into Chomp. Please go Chomp, please go Chomp. Please choke and go Chomp. Fuck, he goes Blissey, which is not what I wanted. However, he does let us get a shit ton of damage off for no reason. I'm gonna spin here as he as he goes for that, which is not good for me. But yeah. Um I'm gonna toxic here. He lets us do that, which is pretty interesting. He goes into his own corv here. Um I mean I just U-turn out 
end of the Seth. And uh, go for Shadow Ball, expecting the... Oh, he has an Umbreon. I didn't even notice he had an Umbreon. That's stupid on my part. I didn't even notice he had an Umbreon. That shit's a big-ass threat, too. As he has Heal Bell, too. Oh, okay, it's over now. <laughs> that shit is over, I'm gonna be honest. Um, Because he has Heal Bell, I didn't even realize that. Well, actually, it's not over just yet. I can maybe win this. Maybe I can win this. Um, he should heal up his pecs. In my opinion. Dang, I never thought Umbreon would be the one to stop me. Umbreon completely stops Venusaur too. Which is like such a shame. You know? It completely stops Venusaur, which is a shame. Alright. i go Torko here. On the, uh... On the pecs. And then I would pivot Venusaur after. Oh, he went to Chomp. I didn't expect that. Let me just Brave Bird here. I'm just gonna defog after anyway. Right? Like, doesn't really change much. He goes into Blissey. Um, you turn out. Go into this guy, start growthing up. Hopefully, you know, this guy can start putting on a uh, Assault. Earth power, so he lets me take care of Pex, which is pretty nice. Uh, maybe, okay, maybe now, you know, we have a better chance. Hopefully this is an AV. It's not AV, so he's really fucking up. Um, okay, awesome. Uh, he really just sacked, like, a shit ton of guys for nothing. Here goes another guy. He really has just sacked everybody. Why, why did he do that? Why, why do that? Why, why not just, uh, just foul? <laughs> you know, you know what we call those games, people? What, what did I say in a video before? We call those gifts from the powers that be. The powers above. They want me to post another video. Entei goes undefeated. Smoking OU stall. Smoking on OU stall. Roll that shit up. Oh my god. Smoking on Tox Effects. Are you fucking crazy? I sick of fire. Blew that shit up. Stomping Tantrum Choice Band did 43%. How is that even real? Why do you even run stamping? Stom stamping. Stomping Tantrum then. This is garbage. 75 base power is so terrible. It should be like 95. This shit has nothing good though. Sacred Fire, st you could run Flare Blitz, but I don't understand the point of that. Flare Blitz doesn't seem like a a necessary tech. That shit sounds like it's oh, it's too much. It's too much sauce. Why are you getting so violent? You know, that's what I think of when I uh when I think of running Flare Blitz Entei in the sun. But other than that, I really don't know how we got it there. We got lucky when he uh I guess we just got lucky that Venusaur made him like lose his mind because he really just had to foul play me with. Uh, I think I, mean, I don't know. Maybe, uh, I mean, even then the sun was gone, so he could have just gone into Ferrothorn, but, I mean, not Ferrothorn, the sun was gone, so he could have gone into Corviknight. Alright, we got this guy, his team is, uh, strong. We played this, I played this guy before, actually. Um, his team is strong. Yeah, I played, I played his ass before. Um. I'm leading off with Blissif, as he leads off with Coco. Gonna go into, I'm just gonna go for Overheat, because I'm Scarf. So I'm gonna kill his ass if he stays in. Dude, you're so lucky. Are you fucking shitting me right now? How is this fucking real? Yo, are you fucking serious? This idiot just threw the game as he jets there. So that's great. Nice play. Nice play for real. Um, Alright, I go into this guy so I can get my kill with Bandit Sacred Fire now. If you fucking dodge this time, it's over. It's over for you if you attack this and you dodge this time. Get the fuck out of here. So we want to KO that shit. Shit gets super packed. Get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna go Corviknight here. And in our focus. Yo, Entei is so fucking beast. What the hell is this? Y'all really sleeping on Entei. Are you crazy? Inner focus so you can't get intimidated? Y'all are children. Y'all are absolutely children. He doesn't have grass not. Yeah, get the fuck out. Game over. Game over. Game over. Sacred Fire wins. Game over. This shit is over. This shit is so over. This shit is so fucking over. Come on, boss. Come on. Who's gonna die? I know, I know you're hoping that you can just stay in and dodge, that this will go to the left, or the right, or the up, or the down, or whatever the fuck you hope, but it's not, it's not gonna happen, it's not, you're dead, you're dead soldier, you're dead soldier, get the fuck out, so it's over, it's over, Entei is in here, he's upset, he's upset with the, he's upset with the state of the battle, he's upset with the state of the battle, what else can be said, he's had enough, you really think I'm not just gonna sacrifice fire again? Yeah, like, you're not gonna go for the fire, for like, the ice-type move? Like, what do you think I am? Some noob? No, bro. I'm not some noob. 
I'm amazing. I'm I'm the craziest. I'm the, I'm the greatest threat they ever saw. Uh, I'm just gonna sacred fire again, even though I'm out because Scar Flamethrower has already won the game. Um, at this point, he goes into this shit. Okay, just gonna go Torquil on the knockoff bet, and then basically sweep him with Venusaur to end the match. It's going to be that. As he goes into Coco, yes sir. You will get growthed into Weather Ball 3x into 6 0 Have you ever heard of that true combo, people? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, that is a true combo. The growth into Weather Ball 3x into 6 0 GG. It is what it is. I'm sorry it had to be you. I'm sorry it had to be you. I'm sorry it had to be you. But it had to be somebody. Somebody. There comes a time in the ladder where you have to get Entei'd. And it was just his turn. So, so far... Entei's going fucking stupid. I'm at 1940 on the ladder. 1940, that's when I was born. Important year. What is that on the ladder? 15th on the ladder. All right, but I need top 10. I need that title. Oh, 17. No, no, it was top 10. I need that Entei goes top 10 on the ladder. Entei goes top 10 on the ladder. Completely exposes all frauds. Oh, man, that's the title we need. I, ca I gotta go. I gotta go there. Entei to top 10. Oh, man. I mean, I wait, why aren't they giving me my 1940? They should give me an, some extra points for this. They should give me some extra points for how crazy that game was after Overheat missed. He actually made the worst play of all time by going for Aqua Jet turn two. He should have just won there by knocking off. I don't even know why you do that. Maybe he thought I was like Specs and I'd kill him and that I stayed in, but I'm Scarf. That's why I led with it. Either way, thank the Lord. I never even had to bring out that Blasef. This team is cooking. This team is cooking in the kitchen. You guys don't even know. This team is really... This team is really out here. Now I'm 15th on the ladder. You know what time it is. I just I just need to get top 10 so I can say top 10 with Entei. You know, it doesn't have the same ring when I get top 10 with like Dragonite and Tapu Fini. What am I supposed to say? Dragonite, Dragon dances to the top. We're using heavy duty boots and walling every Pokemon in the game. All right, so we got this guy and it's a, it's a, it's an incredible match. You know why it's an incredible match, folks? Because it's a tried and true battle. This is a battle that has existed for years. For years. No, not years decades folks decades we have the player with the hail team now let me tell you something about hail it's a tough it's a tough strategy it's a tough strategy to go against it's not it's not easy but hail is uh hail is annoying so i'm thinking i'm gonna lead off with um i don't know i think it's best for me to lead off with well because he's i'm trying to think what what uh what he would lead off with because if i'm him i would i would lead off with uh landorus yeah just gonna go core of here so i can defog this trash turn one if needed yeah cool i can just defog this trash here i'm really not worried about this shit. uh the only threat is if arc result is freeze dry which it's not. It is. It is freeze dry. I said it wasn't, but I totally lied to everybody. I'm a liar. All right. Anyway, I could get a free lava plume here as he goes into nine tails, which is pretty cool for me because he's bad for doing that. Um, I'm just going to flamethrower here. I'm scarfed, so I get the plus one, and then I'll probably cook Arc Desolt right then and there. He goes into this shit. Probably scarf. I'm mean, probably DD. Yep. Figured. Uh, okay, this is a gigantic issue to my team. I'm going to Torco here. Hopefully he just DDs again. So that I can toxic him. And he's not sub. He's probably sub D. Let me go to this shit. So he goes for that. Okay. I can just defog. He has leftovers too, which is really bad. But I am a little fizz deaf, so hopefully, hopefully this isn't it. But I'm going to be honest. It does not look good. It does not look good. It really does not look good. I had to get rid of that veil, I think. Yeah, I did. I don't know. I don't know. This shit is looking like a threat. And if he Phantom Forces here, well, then I just got to say, hey, GG, G. Yup, G, G, G. This shit is over as fuck. This is going to do like 100,000%. Oh, it actually didn't do that much. Um, okay, hold on. I roost here on Phantom Force. I live it now and I kill you back with a max roll. Fuck, this shit did nothing. What the fuck? All right, it's over. It's over. It's over. Yeah, that man got packed. So unfortunately, just when I thought the going was good, I got fucking 6-0 obliterated. Oh, 
what should I have done differently? Maybe, maybe had a ghost resist, I guess. Or maybe shadow ball instead of flamethrower. But the reason I didn't shadow ball is because I did not want arc result to come in. Because that would have forced a kill that way. But looking back at it, that is unfortunate. So for now, we're halted on saying Entei the top 10. I'm a little, I'm a little sad. I'm a little sad, I must say. I mean, I just got packed up by that, uh, that Dragapult. Looking back at it, I shouldn't have taken that, uh, that freeze dry. But I thought from his position, he'd be more likely to go for Bolt Beak into my, uh, Hoping I go into Torkoal. Plus, I just haven't seen a uh, freeze dry in a while on Arctozoat. At least, I don't really use Arctozoat, but. Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna pause until the next one, though, because we still waiting. Okay, and we're back, and we're back. So, there is a there is a saving grace. Even though I lost the last battle, we did beat the Umbreon stall. So, Entei can't have. It, it, we can say a 6 0 stall. So, it's good. Um, Anyway, so we got one. This guy's team is pretty strong. Pretty strong for sure. It's a little weak to uh, to Venusaur, but he does have some some threats like Weavile. It's, I really hate that thing. He leads off with this just so we can trade Toxics. I'd love to trade Toxic because this is an incredible threat to my team. Uh, it's pretty obvious too, judging by um, just my team's composition and shit. Here I just U-turn out on top of Fini. Yup. Now I can go into Venusaur, and I can just go to, I don't know, I gotta really th think about this actually. I'm gonna go Torco here on Torn. Yeah, I just wanna spin them bitches away. That's really it. Yeah, he can he can take care of that, but I don't, like, I need that removed, you know. Especially if he's gonna defog here, because somebody has to die to Sacred Fire here. That's good. Oh, he lived? What the fuck? Yo, your ass, Garchomp. What the fuck are you doing? All right, watch this, though. I mean, your ass, bro. All right, he goes to Garchomp here. It's fine because I growth right here. He doesn't have Fire Blast. Let's see. I can just growth here, though. Yeah. As he goes into Blissey. We'll just get Drain here as he actually has Thunder Wave, which is terrible for me. That's terrible. I didn't expect him to have that. Um, yeah, that's really bad. I'm not going to lie. I really didn't expect him to have this on his Blissey. T-Wave was the only way to stop my offensive guys anyway. I mean, it stops all my offensive guys, but I'm really ashamed that that shit didn't kill with, uh... I'm really ashamed that that shit didn't kill with Sacred Fire. Alright, cool. So we get hexed out there and die. It's pretty fire. He goes to this shit. I guess I'll just trick this a scarf uh, at this point and then get Thunder Waved and lose. Yup. Uh... Fuck, I should have tricked this to Scarf before I uh, went for the preemptive sweep with my other guy. That was pretty bad. What are you doing? I'm going to keep shot. I'm going to flamethrower this time then. Whatever. If that's what you really want. What is he doing? What's his goal here? Alright, cool. So he takes a little hit there as he whirlpools me here. Whatever that means. Nature's madness is I bring in this shit. Then I go back into this core of shit as he taunts me. Cool. But I just U-turn out again. Like, who cares? I got a Venusaur who's now faster than everybody. And I can go Entei on the double. Check me out. Suck me out here. Suck me on the Entei double. It'll be nice. It'll be nice. It'll be calm. Oh, he went torn. Nice play. Nice play, I gotta say. He U-turns out into who? Chomp. Feeny, who is the right play for you? I think it's Chomp. Damn, that really did not do a lot of damage. That's really disappointing, I must say. From where I stand, that's a little shameful. I can roost here, and then just defog as he goes for Bandit Thunder Punch, which is really strong. Um, Okay, as he goes into Feeny there, uh, whatever, I just EQ. Yeah. As he goes into Torn there. I'm just going to Toxic here. As he defogs, which was not the right play, in my opinion, for him. Um, I, I don't think that was the right play. 
especially because I'm gonna go back into this shit on U-turn, and then uh, yeah, he goes back into Chomper. As I'm just gonna go into my uh, Corv and defog straight up again on the switch to Melmetal, which is fine. He'll now kill this, which is fine. It's understood. It had to happen. It had to happen. That's all we can say. We now bring back in our chief threat, chief dominant resident, Ante. He's doing a good job stalling out my shits, I gotta say. I should have stone edged. Why is this bitch not only bulkier than everything, taking like 2% per hit, but his ass also is able to like, it just it's just the strongest shit I've ever played. Either way, Entei's actually putting in a lot of work. I can't lie. This shit's putting in hella work. Hella work, yeah. Um... I think I still just keep defogging, like, whatever. Let's sec Venusaur here, yeah. Let's go Entei. And just Stone Edge here, hoping he goes into his Torn. It's really the play, I don't think he can afford to sack this. Or he'll lose to my, uh... I don't think he can afford to sack this or he'll lose to my shit, yeah. Let me just Sacred Fire here. On the switch to Chomp, hopefully, as he just keeps on U-turning, which is safe for him to make, obviously. As he goes into Melmetal there to sack it to Sacred Fire, cool. Um, I think he wants me to get out of Sacred Fires, but at this point, I don't need any any other move. Oh, he's faster than me. Are you max speed Jolly? That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I didn't even think about the potential of him being max speed. That's extremely funny to me. I'm going to Blissef here so I can just flamethrower and get my kill. Um, in comes this. Knocks me off. That's a threat. Can't kill this though, but knock off. So I'm free to just body press. Knock his ass out if he stays in. He brings in Blissey. Okay. Um, I'm just going to spin. And then... Body press again, basically, because this should be it, right? This should just win. This should just win. This should just win, right? Because he can't kill me with nothing. Brave Bird into East Beat knocks his shit out. Oh my god, Ente, you fucking boss. You fucking boss. You actually did it. You actually did it. I don't even know how that game was possible. Yo, <laughs> Come on, Ente, you boss. You boss, so we'll take it, we'll take it. We'll take that as the one to bring us the happiness. Enter the top 15, not top 10, not yet, but we will be back. This team is a blast, though. This is a very strong team. I really had a blast using this, but shout out to my man Togacom for this one. Shout out to all you guys for watching. Leave a big like if you enjoyed. You gotta leave a like. Ente, Ente was working OT. How did he even win that game versus a Garchomp and a, and a Fini? When I let Venusaur and Blissaf get paired, damn, it's crazy, but it's true. Hope y'all enjoyed. See you guys next time. Have a good day. Peace.